Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article says butterflies in danger. So we know danger means that they're not safe. And we know what butterflies are. These are pictures of beautiful butterflies. So why are they in danger? Let's take a look at today's article. It says the number of butterflies in Britain has been decreasing since 2006 because of unstable weather. So let's take a look at that first sentence. The number of butterflies, that means how many butterflies there are in the country or in the area of Britain has been decreasing. So decreasing is the opposite of increasing. So the opposite of increasing means it's going down. So the number of butterflies has been going down since 2006. Why is that? It's because of unstable weather. So we know weather is what the, what the climate or the temperature is like outside, whether it's snowy, rainy, cold or hot, that's the weather. And unstable means that it's not, it's not normal, right? It keeps going up, it keeps going down, it's all over the place, it's wobbly, that's unstable. So if I'm standing on ground and if it's not stable, then I might fall. So that's unstable weather. So the weather keeps going up and down. Summer last year saw occasional rain causing the grass to grow quickly. So last summer, uh, they saw occasional rain. So from time to time. So they don't see it often. They don't see it a lot. They see it from time to time. So because of the occasional rain, it caused the grass to grow quickly. Uh, when this happens, the wildflower habitats of insects suffer and decrease. So when there's a lot of rain at one time, uh, the places, the habitat means the places where something lives. So the places where insects live, where there's a lot of flowers growing in the wild, uh, they suffer. Suffer means they go through hard times and they decrease. So the number of insects living in those areas uh, decrease, the number goes down. This makes it hard for the butterflies to make food. So when there's not enough insects, when they start dying off or they disappear, then the butterflies don't have enough food. The Daily Mail said marbled white butterflies and common blue butterflies have declined in number. So the Daily Mail is a news organization and they said that the marbled white butterflies, so marbled is kind of like it has these streaks of white because marble is kind of white. So these white, uh, marbled white butterflies and common blue butterflies have declined, so gone down in number as a result. So because of the weather, we see that a lot of things are being impacted, or a lot of things are being, in, uh, are being changed uh, as a result of the weather. So these marble uh, butterflies as well as the blue butterflies, we're, we're not seeing as many of them uh, because of the sudden change in the weather in places like Britain. So uh, that's why these butterflies, these beautiful insects are uh, in danger. So let's take a look at the questions for today. The number of bees in Britain is decreasing, means going down, because of what kind of weather? Is it hot weather or remember we said it's up and down, it's constantly changing. So that means unstable weather. So because of the weather going hot and snowy and rainy and dry, because of that, a lot of the butterflies are disappearing. Uh, B says summer last year saw occasional rain causing the grass to grow. How did the grass grow? So when the rain comes down quickly, a lot at once, occasionally it happens to make the grass grow quickly. So the grass gets uh, too tall too fast and that also changes. Imagine if uh, the area that you live, it goes through sudden change, right? So there's going to be a lot of things that change as a result. So because of the grass growing too quickly, uh, we see that uh, a lot of the insects uh, had a hard time surviving. So it says here in the last question, fewer wildflower habitats. So habitats is the places where the insects can live. Uh, habitats of insects make it hard for butterflies to make what? Uh, to make something that they need very much, which is food. So because the grass is growing too quickly and the homes of these insects right, are changing so fast, it makes it more difficult for butterflies to make food that they need to survive. So that is also causing problems in the number of butterflies going down as well. So here, uh, let's look at the, the choices that we have and choose the correct one. It says since 2006, the homes, the number or the wings of butterflies in Britain has been decreasing. So decreasing means going down. So we know that the wings of the butterflies do not change. The number of butterflies perhaps or the homes of butterflies in Britain has been decreasing. Well, we know that the main focus was the number of butterflies. So it's since 2006. 
uh, the butterflies that are in the area of Britain have been going down, the number of butterflies. Uh, let's look at B. B says, when grass grows quickly, the wildflower habitats, or the places where they live, of insects flourish. Flourish means it gets much, much better. It gets uh, more, or suffer, or explode, and decrease. Well, we didn't learn anything about things blowing up, so that we know explode is not the answer. And we know that flourish, it does not grow, it does not do better. So we know that the correct answer is it suffers. So when the grass grows too quickly, the places where the insects live, they suffer. And the last question, the Daily Mail said marbled white and common blue butterflies have risen, stagnated, declined in number. So stagnated means it kind of just stays the same. It doesn't grow, it doesn't drop. We know that that's not the case. And we know that it's not rising. So the correct answer is declined in number. So the number of uh, the marbled white and the common blue butterflies have gone down uh, in, in Britain. And we know that, once again, climate change is another one of the main reasons. So uh, as you look at this article and the many articles that we've read before uh, about what climate change does to animals and puts them in danger, uh, let's do our best to uh, clean up our environment so that we can save animals that are in danger, like the butterfly. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article and learned a lot. I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.